I expect a good clean fight. I bring my commands at all times. Remember, guys, I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. It's what the hell is up. I think take his time, guys. We asked him yesterday if he was going to be real physical because he's so much bigger, and he said no. That's not his way. That's right. not his style. He's not going to force his way to be that way. Unless it's there, right? But look at the size differential. Yeah, this, that, this is, does look like three weight divisions. I mean, you know, the height, the reach, and he's got height and reach over most 115 pounders uh, that he faces that are legitimately in that division. He's working with a new trainer, Robert Garcia, has been added to his corner, who's worked with him and been uh, in spots at his training and has been in touch with them over the phone. So Robert Garcia, a very fine trainer and a former world champion, uh, trying to add some dimensions to Donaire. Oh, big right oh, hand, yes. big right hand. But we see Vargas in retreat. Vargas, as Al had mentioned earlier, not your typical Mexican brawler, slugger. He will keep distance. He's definitely a boxer puncher. And says quickness is the key. He's got to fight fast and make him count. He's given up. Look at the reach. It's so apparent in the height. So his dilemma is we've talked about how to do damage if he gets inside. Does he stay inside if he's not a big puncher? Well, to put the size difference in perspective, we mentioned that Vargas weighed in at 114 and probably weighs about 114 now. Donaire weighed in 115. We asked him what he'd weigh in the ring. He said he probably put on about seven pounds. So it could be seven, eight pound difference between them right now. Oh, it looks so much different, doesn't it? But Vargas has solid the legs. He's, uh, you know, he's not some wafer thin guy by any means. But again, he's jumping up in weight classes. And it's a heck of an order for him. Eloy Guerrero did not pass the eye test, which of course, as we pointed out, was the reason why he oh, there's ran, into the the ran into that left hook. Donaire has great power in that punch. And if it's open, he's going to take it and let his hands fly. And now it's Vargas looking like the typical Mexican brawler for a minute. And Donaire has uh, another issue, always mental. That left hand, he knows it's going to swell. It's been broken. It's been damaged. And he's got to fight through that type of swelling and pain. But he's all ready for it. So he would want a short night, it would seem, too. He swells every fight. By the end of the fight, it, when he goes back in, he's soaking it nice. And it's, it's very swollen. So that's a big weapon for him, too, that left hook. And we've already seen it here tonight. And he's doing exactly what we said, you know, figuring out the pace, the speed and pattern of uh, Vargas's punches. He's really a thinker. I love that about Nonito Donaire. And Vargas is trying to get into this fight with anything he can. At first glance, after a round, I'd say Donaire's biggest advantage right now is that he's at least as fast, if not faster, than Vargas with his fists. As we close out round one of our main event. First round, he wasn't close to getting inside. And it's very, very difficult to work the body from the outside unless you're super quick. Absolutely. Boy, Donaire, he's got to, you know, he's got to be aggressive. He's the much bigger guy. He's the heavier puncher. There's no doubt about it. But again, he's going to take his time unless he sees that opening and he really cracked with that left hook. Well, when Nedito Donaire is at his best, he's being a precise fighter. He's the very definition of a boxer puncher because he has all the boxing skills and he has power to be a puncher. He does. Both hands, too, in, huh, Al? In his last fight against Rafael Concepcion, after he had battered Concepcion over the first four or five rounds, Concepcion was truly a very a bigger man. All of a sudden, Donaire couldn't put him out, he had hand troubles, and then Concepcion came back. That was a nice quick move from Vargas with the overhand right to even land because he's been short with his jab all night. Right hand stings Vargas. So Donaire's unloaded power in both fists. He drives back Vargas with another right. Vargas waiting to counter, it just doesn't hold on, and now the brawler comes out in him temporarily. But this corner warned him this guy is dangerous, and we've just seen it twice in this round. Big shots from Nonito Donaire in red. And what we just saw is an example of the fact that Vargas just can't make any mistakes. He makes any mistakes in this fight. He's going to get clocked, and if he gets clocked, he's going to get hurt. It's got to be exhausting, the mental focus that it's going to take just to get into the next round, get into the next round, and not get hurt. Vargas tries to land the jab, and uh, Donaire with looking for that uppercut, too. He's got every punch in the arsenal. Jab, tried the right to the body, and tried to finish with that left hook. But Vargas is very quick. 
Well, Vargas, we, we need to point out, at his normal weight class, which is probably 108, I think it's probably the place he should be. He went down to 105 for a championship opportunity. He's hurt now. In his weight class, he's a very good fighter and was ready to fight for the title. But this is a lot to undertake against a guy who is too big for most 115 pounders. It almost seems as if, as long as when Donier could find this guy and land flush, it could be over. Oh, yeah. I don't like the fact that Vargas is now boxing with his mouth open. Mm -hmm. Vargas trying to keep his hands moving, but he's not able to punch back it up. And even when he tries to go forward, he's lunging and can run into that uppercut. Look at the lightning combination alluding to that speed you talked about, Al, from Nonito Donaire. And as Steve, you mentioned he's definitely got the hand speed here. That second round just zipped along, and it was all Nonito Donaire, save for one right hand from Manuel Vargas. Donaire having his way really in that round with a variety of punches. Now, that was Vargas trying to get some right hands in, but then Donaire with the good right hand. Whatever it is, and from long range, he's too much for him. Yeah, and then the only way Vargas can be in this fight is to have the quickness to strike just as Donaire is about to strike. So far, he hasn't shown that. Yeah, he fights pretty fast, but he's got to land and get out. And it's almost like Morel did against Penaloso, but it's a far different uh, dish in front of him in uh, Nonito Donaire, who really has hand speed. He'll show the jab and sink in that right hand, that straight right hand. And then he's got that lethal left hook as well. But again, he's getting on the jab right now and taking his time. Looks like he wants to move Vargas into a punch, perhaps. And Vargas coming forward with that sweeping overhand right hand. Walks into a shot and backs off. Oh, and Vargas is there to be tagged now. And it looks like Donaire is going to line him up. Donaire's jab is always an important weapon for him. Even when he doesn't land it, it's such a good range finder for the right hand. Sometimes he doesn't throw it enough. Man, Vargas is so elusive. Donaire missed with those two power shots. But you're right, he doesn't throw it enough, Al, it seems. He's looking for the power. Oh, roundhouse shots from uh, Vargas. Oh, and that's a bad move, according to CompuBox. <laughs> Look at that. And I gave Vargas that round. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Nonito Donaire with a dynamic, explosive end to this fight. Uh, Donaire had landed good power punches. A straight right hand. Some, and it was the uppercut, the left uppercut, that did the big damage by Donaire. He's got power net left. Yeah, a little bit of a delayed reaction. The two right hands set it up, and then it was as if Vargas said, hey, something tells me I can't handle this. <laughs> that left uppercut was beautiful. It also shows the diversity of attack of Nonito Donaire. We think of him as a left hooker. Al mentioned he has a great jab, which he oh, does. Bro. Nonito Donaire. Donaire, evening ending power display there.